Tyranny always grows slowly until a flashpoint or when the floor falls out from under the society. And we're now approaching that key trigger event. You can see the acceleration of the coming out of collectivism and classical tyranny. It has a lot of different names and flavors, but it's the same thing. It looks the same in every human culture for 6,000 years of recorded history. And the very heart of an authoritarian collective is the people are disarmed and the children belong to the state. I'm going to let this MSNBC promo that they just released speak for itself. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. Lean forward, get in our face, dominate us, get rid of private property for the general population, get rid of the Second Amendment, get rid of free speech. You can't demonstrate or even take photos anywhere in D.C. without them arresting you. They're charging people with life in prison in Illinois for videotaping police. Look it up. I can't even hand out magazines in downtown Austin now without being given tickets where I live. They now have TSA checkpoints on the road where I live, searching bags without warrants while the borders are wide open. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, they are in our face on every front, just as Obama promised they would do. They want that domestic national security force. And, and who's the enemy? Libertarians, conservatives, returning veterans, Christians. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The two billion bullets, the drones, the checkpoints, the national service that they're already telling children they have to have to graduate high school. Citizenship is not an entitlement program. It comes with responsibilities. Everybody somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 will serve three months of basic training and understanding in a kind of civil defense. That universal sense of service, somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25, will give Americans, once again, a sense of what they are to be American and their contribution to a country and a common experience. Now, see, this is getting everybody ready. This is authoritarianism where they get rid of real national defense, where you're armed and, and your county, your city, your sheriff, you're the posse. You're the civil defense, like when I was in civil air patrol with my dad, the real deal. Only specialists and then youth the government trains and indoctrinates are to be armed. This is from three, four years ago, 2009. I knew about this 10 years ago. People couldn't believe it, even though we got video of it. In Hebron, Maryland, of Boy Scouts training with the military to tell uh, the military, the Marines, this is my film, Police Day 2000, what guns were in the house. It says they trained to take on terrorists and more, and then the first paragraph, trained to take on a veteran that wouldn't turn in his guns, a disgruntled Iraqi war veteran. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all in your face. You know, we've seen this before in history, and now they're graduating, tens of thousands of FEMA Corps, and they're out directing traffic with the National Guard in Austin, Texas, at the Kite Festival Three weeks ago, we got video of it, okay? I mean, this is on, this is happening, this is going on, this is an emergency situation. You know, we talk about the thousands of armored vehicles for Homeland Security. I mean, they're in the town where I live, and the media just says they don't exist when it's on the federal website, the federal register. We have seen this before. I, I remember seeing an ABC newscast, I don't know, like 15 years ago, we played on the radio, where they bragged, America needs to be like Russia. Yes, since the Soviet days, they train the youth from age five for special corps to be the tax police and the anti-terror police. And now that's what they're setting up here in America. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up while they move to disarm us. This is textbook textbook authoritarianism 
And again, we've seen it before. This is what every corrupt, oppressive system sets up. And oh, the government loves the children. The Hitler youth, again, many of them taken from birth by their children voluntarily or involuntarily. They went into Ukraine and Poland and took the, quote, Aryan-looking kids uh, you know, by 1939, 1940. And then just a few years later, they were in combat at age 12. And this is all just history. I mean, if you're a historian, a, a lay historian like I am that's read, let's be conservative, 300 history books, much of it about World War II, it is nightmarish. Type in Russian tax police. You can read all about how they're taken from their parents for petty reasons and then turned into these different uh, FEMA corps uh, over there for their different regions. All of this is authoritarianism. And it was the Russians that wore the mask and all the stuff before we ever did. I mean, this is all about intimidation, all about authoritarianism. And then we warn about it and, oh, we're anti-American. Here's the congressional record. I'm going to have this reposted on Infowars.com. 1963, Communist Goals, House of Representatives. Uh, this was released by patriots inside the Pentagon. Look at number 41. Emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influences of their parents, attribute prejudices, mental blocks, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. And then I've got the major CPS manuals. You can look them up where they say get rid of the family. It's a disease. Now do you know what the billions of bullets are about? Now do you know what all the surveillance is about? Foreign banks have taken over. We're the big prize. They've already set up authoritarianism in Europe. They're doing it here. And I shot a special report that, quite frankly, brought tears to my eyes of the fact that authoritarianism doesn't just get announced, okay? You need to understand that. Authoritarianism doesn't just get announced. It, it, it creeps and creeps and creeps. From 1933 to 1940, when World War II started, Hitler took over a half million German children from the, quote, best families that they believed had the Aryan superior kids to be soldiers later. Again, by the time they invaded other countries in World War II, they took the kids and, 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 and put them into the youth. Look this up. This is mainline history. This is Nazi propaganda reels. This is what they admit. And they're following the exact same thing here. I mean, I get chills to realize that you can type in Parents taken, uh, children taken from parents because of marijuana, and there's thousands of cases a month in the news. I mean, they'll pull you over now. The Dallas police have been caught. They've all been caught planting drugs on people. In some cases, if they want your kids, because they want the really healthy white kids, because they can get top dollar for them from people that are adopting, who don't, who don't even know where they're coming from, up to a half million bucks. And they're taking people by just dropping one marijuana cigarette on you. Your kids are gone. I mean, I mean incredible crime with these fake family courts that aren't even real courts. They were set up in 1910 here in the U.S. as part of the eugenics courts. They would order people sterilized and stuff. It's the same fraudulent courts. We've always kind of been under this, but now it's really growing. It's coming to the surface uh, like, you know, herpes or something. I mean, it's, it's, it's really a big flare-up. And I just hope everybody will get this special report. Mass arrest and gun confiscation has begun. Millions of veterans are getting letters. Thousands a week are having their guns taken. No criminal record, no psychological uh, designation. They're being persecuted as a group. And if they can get away with, with the veterans or pot smokers, they can get away with it with everybody. Okay, this all has a liberal icing to it, but Homeland Security was set up for an authoritarian takeover of America. And it's, it's, it's all expanding very, very, very quickly. And history is replete with the examples. So... I'm just asking all of you to please look up this information for yourself, warn everyone you know, because they don't want to have a debate about this. They want to just deny, deny, deny while it's going on so that there can never be a real debate about it and they can just roll forward, okay? And if you speak out, if we say no, if we warn people, we can turn this around. But this report up on our YouTube channel and also up at Infowars.com, is just absolutely essential for everyone. Uh, and get this report out where they're saying, yeah, your kids don't belong to you. It's not out of 1984 as satire, as dark satire. They're openly doing it to just condition everyone to accept it. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. You are the resistance. If you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance. 
get the word out or be completely overrun. Signing off for InfoWars.com. Follow us at Twitter at RealAlexJones.